In this video, I'm going to show you how to release the palm on your glove. Got a lot of requests for this one. I'm finally getting around to doing it. Palms are usually released when you're doing the whole glove. I've never run across where someone just wanted their palm released. But there's a couple things you got to do first. You need to unlace the wrist and heel of your glove. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, now once you get everything unlaced, what you want to do is I would start out with a 72 inch piece. I'm not sure how much the palm actually uses because it is different on pretty much every glove depending on size. You know, some of them have extra lacing right here. It just all depends. Mizuno's have an extra loop. So just be safe and start out with a very, very long piece. And if you notice, when you get your lace, one side is a lot smaller than the other in thickness. What you want to do is tie a knot in the thin piece, because that's the side, the whole section that you want in your palm. You'll tie a single knot in it like that. Pull it tight. Doesn't really matter how much is on this side. Just whatever you want. Just make sure it's relatively tight. And that part's done. Then you'll go over to the other end. And I got a few questions on how to actually lace the needle, so I'm going to show you that now. You want to cut just a snip out of the end so it's angled like so. Then you want to just screw the needle right on. And my needle, its threads are pretty much shot, so this thing's going to fall out many times during this. Alright, your starting point is on the back of your pinky. You don't want to start on the thumb side. Just take it from experience. Once you get up to this side, it's going to be very hard for you. So what you want to do is stick it through that hole. You're going to come out the top hole right there by the pinky. There you go. That's what it should look like on the other side. Give it a nice tug. And you can have it going up or down. You can just give it a twist whichever way looks best to you. On some gloves, if you have it going this way, it's going to want to stick out here. And I wouldn't want to do that to any of my gloves. So if that starts to happen, just twist it the other way and have it go that way. All right, now. Next step is going through this next hole, number two. And this is the tricky part right here. You want to kind of feel up there with your finger. Sometimes you got to get a flashlight on some gloves because it's so dark in there. You're going to want to come out the next available hole. Which is right there for mine. If you've done that right, you should have six holes remaining on that top row. And I'll show you here once I get the lace through. Of course, you want to be doing this smooth side up. Unless you're weird and you like uh, your lace reversed. Now here is the holes. We've got one more that we're about to go in right here. Two sets of two that are very close together and then one more right by the binding. Next step going in the next available hole. right there. Probably should be doing this with the light on to help you see better. And you make sure you don't want to go through the pinky loop. Sometimes you do and you have to 
pull the lace out and do it over. So just kind of hold that pinky loop up and get that lace through there. And you will come out this hole right here. And so on. You want to go on the next available hole. Right there. You're going to want to come out in the next available on the other side. Pull that lace through. Give it a nice tug so it lays relatively flat. You don't want to have any arches. I'll come back to that at the end of the video, show you what to do on that. Some lace is pretty thick, it can get very uncomfortable in the hand. I think you're getting the pattern here. You're going to go in the next available hole on this side, but you're going to come out the same hole you just went in on the other side. Should look like so. Next hole. Come out the next available on the other side. You don't want to pull these uh, loops too tight because if you do, you're going to get bunched up right there and that's what you don't want to happen. So don't pull it too tight. If you do, no big deal at first, just pull it back through. It should look like that with no, no creases or anything. Next hole. And do the same thing you just did coming out exactly where you just went in. That's what we got so far. Now we're to the hinge. If you haven't noticed, this whole side right here you should be seeing rough. You don't want to be twisting it or anything to where you can see smooth. Keep it rough. Alright, we just went in this last hole right by the binding. Came out the last hole right there on the top. Now what you want to do is kind of twist the lace. You're going to keep the smooth side up right here. Give it a twist clockwise if this is a right handed glove. About a 90 degree twist will do you. Now you want to go in the beginning hole on the bottom row, which is right there. And you're coming out right there. There you should be seeing smooth, contrary to what I just said, with all this being rough. It's the only part you want smooth right there. And once you get over here, you want to give it another twist to make it easy to get that smooth side up on this side. You're going counterclockwise though this time. Going in hole number two on the bottom. Coming out right there. If you've done the, the top row, you should start to get the hang of it at this point. It 
That's what we got. Going in hole number three. And coming out the same hole we just went in. Kind of the same idea we had on that top row. That one is rough. Next hole right here. Going in, let's see, the fifth hole. Again, coming out where we just went in. This is the last time we're going to do that. Next hole right here. Not the next available hole on the other side. You can just kind of smash those arches down until we get done to kind of keep them flat. Next hole right here. Coming out the next hole up here. And we're still seeing rough right here on the back. Next hole. Very impressed with my needle so far, so usually it comes out at least 10 times during the palm relays. On this part, it's good to pay attention not to pull this part too tight either, because if so, this, this uh, will start to raise up, and it will create a nasty crease in your glove if you have that too tight. So just make sure you, you can't see under it, and just get the tension right. Shouldn't be too tight at all. all right, we're on the next hole here. You want to keep that same tension throughout the rest of here. You don't want them too tight. On some gloves, it'll It'll raise this whole section up. And it'll be very uncomfortable. Going in right there. Coming out behind the thumb loop here. Yeah, watch out on some gloves too. Sometimes you'll come out the thumb loop hole. Just make sure you're coming out those holes that were designed for the palm. Kind of hard to get in the picture there. close, make sure it's closing right on you. Help you gauge the tension you need. Alright, the last hole on this side is right here. There she is. We're coming out the second to the last hole right by the thumb. Finishing up in the 
last hole on the thumb. And depending on your glove, you can come out in several locations. Um, I would, if you don't remember where it goes, look up a picture online. Sometimes they come out up here. Most Wilsons come out down here. Some Rawlings come out on the uh, thumb lace right there. I mean, whatever looks good to you, do it. I personally just stick to the stock specs. Turn the lace and come above the padding. It's going to come out this second hole right here. And if you can't remember also, it'll usually leave an indentation in the leather in a circular pattern. That's how you can figure out where it was. Also helpful to take before pictures. What I did right there was, let me do it again. I kind of did it unconsciously. Went in here. You have to kind of push the needle that way to get that direction. You come above the padding, not below. You're right underneath that thumb loop right there. You want to go through the lining hole that was designed to correspond with the hole on the outside. do is pull it through. Then all you do is do a knot just like you did at the very beginning. We're going to do a single knot. Make sure the thumb loop's not in it. And that's that's uh, it, but you're not done yet. These arches right here, you want to get them as flat as possible. So let me go get my mallet, and I'll show you what to do with those. All right, I've noticed on some gloves, I've uh, received them with huge, just bulging arches right here. And it's very uncomfortable in the hand if I'm sure you've came across some gloves. And when you squeeze it, it just kind of digs into your hand right there. What you want to do on this part, get a hard surface, either a piece of wood or a pounding pad. You want to kind of move this flap away right here so you can get at it. Put that flat on the surface. And you're just going to pound those arches right out. What you're going to do is, you're going to flatten those out nice on the other side. Didn't really work too well with that pounding pad, but usually use a piece of wood myself, but I don't have it on me. It'll also flatten them out right here. Make it very, very comfortable on your hand right here. It's just one thing that'll, uh, small detail that'll make all the difference for you. Well, I guess that'll do it. If you have any more questions about it, just uh, shoot me an email, leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.